What's going on there, YouTube? And welcome to Fresh Comic Stories. Guys, this is the channel that we basically sit down and cover different kinds of comic book stories. Now, today, we are going to jump back over to DC Comics, and we are going to cover DC Rebirth, Hal Jordan, and the Green Lanterns Corp. Now, the reason why we are covering this run right here is because you guys out there basically asked me to sit down and cover this run. And tell you the truth, I read this whole run back in 2016 when it first dropped when DC Rebirth first came out. And I have to say, this was one of my favorite titles up there with Batman, Superman, and even Wonder Woman. So I do hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe for more comic book stories like this in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But Guys, let's go ahead and dive into Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns Corp. Now the opening of this story lets us know who is now in charge of the universe and which is the Sinestro Corp, of course the ones whose rings are filled by fear. But we pick up with Sinestro moving his base, which is called War World, into Section Zero. Now this is huge because Section Zero is the section of the universe where the Green Lantern's home base aura was at. And we are now seeing Sinestro moving his base where they used to be at. And this leads to the question, where are the Green Lanterns? We find out that they are missing. And this is how Sinestro was able to take over the universe. Now. I will explain later on where are the Green Lanterns at right now, but right now at this point in DC Comics, there are no Green Lanterns around. And this leads us picking up with Sinestro who is slowly dying. Now if I remember correctly, Sinestro is old now because he lost part of his soul fighting against the Pale Bishop, which is another can of beans to explain. But we see him right now and he is slowly dying, but he has a plan to revive himself and regain leadership of the Sinestro Corp from his daughter, Sorenik. But we learn that since the Green Lanterns were not around to protect the universe from the Pell Bishop, the Sinestro Corp stepped in to protect the universe. And now the universe looks up to the Yellow Lanterns. This is where we jump over to section 563, which is a dead world. But in this dead world, we see Hal Jordan. Now, this is Hal Jordan coming back to life. Back in the tail end of DC New 52, we saw that the universe started to hate the Green Lanterns because to the people of the universe, it was always Green Lanterns fighting other Lantern Corps out in the universe and their battles would sometimes destroy planets. And so the universe started to fear the Green Lanterns. And so what they did was they pretended that Hal Jordan was an outlaw and he was on the run. It was a way to make it seem like all the Green Lantern problems were because of him. But while he was on the run, he took Krona's gauntlet, which was an item that let him be a Green Lantern without a ring. Problem was, when using the gauntlet, it fused him with the emotion spectrum and he became one with the emotion of will. Now with him being fused with the emotion of will, he was trapped outside space and time. But with his high level of willpower, he was able to pull himself back in the DC universe. Then we see him begin to construct his own lantern ring. And this is huge. Reason why this is so huge is because only the guardians were the ones able to make the lantern rings. But you have Hal Jordan being the first lantern being able to construct his own green lantern ring. Now when he is constructing his own ring, 
each time he bangs his hammer, different kinds of lanterns from all the corpse are feeling his energy flowing through them, small tremors hitting them left and right, and they all know that something big is happening in the universe right now, which is the beginning of the Green Lantern Corp coming back in the universe. This leads to Hal Jordan finishing his ring and him being pulled back into the DC Universe. His next mission is to find out what happened to the Green Lanterns and hopefully be able to rejoin them once again. Now Hal Jordan has no idea what happened to the Green Lanterns and so this is about to be him finding out that they are missing and Yellow Lanterns are the ones in charge of the universe now. This leads us seeing Hal Jordan going around section 563, the same section of the universe where he came back to life, trying to figure out what had happened to the Green Lantern Corp. And so we see him right now going around beating up on a bunch of smugglers. And these smugglers usually used to have run-ins against the Green Lanterns a bunch of times. And so Hal Jordan fights against them first, hoping to find some form of information on what had happened to his friends. That is when you have one of the smugglers tell him that basically it started with a problem with their rings stating that it has been months since he saw a Green Lantern around these parts of the universe. Stating that whenever this problem with the rings started to happen, over the last few months, they saw less and less Green Lanterns around. But while the smugglers is telling Hal Jordan all about this, that is when something starts to affect Hal Jordan and makes him kneel over on the ground and he states he feels a great amount of fear. That is when we learn why he is feeling that high level of fear, because we jump back over to Sinestro on his war planet, and we see him go to the core of this planet, and reveals he is holding Parallax. Now Parallax is the living embodiment of fear, this being representing the power of the Yellow Lanterns. But we see that Sinestro was able to capture that being, lock him away inside the war planet to pump great power to his Yellow Lanterns. Except we then see Sinestro put his ring against Parallax and tell him how the Sinestro Corp now has full control of the universe but they need Parallax more than ever before to be able to keep their control of the universe. And so we see Parallax release a large amount of power towards Sinestro, and that is why Hal Jordan kneeled down earlier. He was feeling this power being released into the universe. And so we jump back over to Sinestro's daughter, Soranik, and his girlfriend, Lysa Dark, talking to one another about Sinestro's condition. Because Soranik last saw her father almost on his deathbed. Also to state that since Sinestro was basically on his deathbed, she took over the Yellow Lanterns. It was her who made the universe believe in the Sinestro Corp. The people of the universe believed her and believed that Sinestro was replacing the Green Lanterns. Remember, the universe hated the Green Lanterns before they disappeared. And so when Sinestro Corp came in, they acted better than the Green Lanterns. Getting back to the story though, when Soranak goes to see her father, that is when he comes out of the core of the planet and reveals that he is now back to his younger self. Also, he is at full strength again. This is where he reveals that his plan is to bring fear back into the universe, and he is back in charge of the Sinestro Corp. Now, Sorinik, who is the daughter of Sinestro, she freaks out because she showed the universe that Yellow Lanterns were good, but now her father is going to show the opposite of that. And this leads us back over to Hal Jordan, and this is where we see him getting back up after being affected by the high level of fear 
thanks to Sinestro. And so after getting back up, some of the smugglers actually ran over to some yellow lanterns to tell them, hey, there's a green lantern over there. At first, they were like, that's impossible because the green lanterns are not around anymore. But then when they go looking, they find Hal Jordan. And this is going to lead to Sinestro learning that Hal Jordan is back in the picture once again. But before we jump over to the next chapter, we pick up in another section of the universe. This is where we see the return of the Green Lanterns. Well, what's left of them? You have Jon Stewart, Guy Gardner, and a few other members of the Green Lanterns. Now, the reason why they were really gone is because they were trapped in the past in the previous universe that was around before the existence of this current universe. But they were able to get back and now their goal is to rebuild the Green Lantern Corp once again. This leads to us learning that Jon Stewart is now the current leader of the Green Lantern Corp. But we see him trying to figure out how tragic their situation is right now. And that is when you have Kilowog tell Jon Stewart that there are only 400 lanterns left. And that is huge. Before they disappeared, there were thousands of Green Lanterns. Now, just barely 400 are left now. Also, their tech is still being worked on right now. And so they are literally sitting in the dark with no idea what to do. Also, they have no idea what has happened to the universe since they have been gone. This leads to Jon Stewart going over to Guy Gardner asking him to go on a retcon mission to learn what has happened to the universe since they have been gone. But getting back over to Sinestro and him talking to his daughter Sora Nick, this is where she learned that her father used her basically. Her kind heart was what the Sinestro Corp needed to use to make the universe believe that they were good guys and going to make the universe a better place. But now they're in control of the universe, Sinestro moves forward with his plan. Came back to full strength and now trying to install fear across the universe. And with that fear being spread, it will power the yellow lanterns up. But while the two of them are arguing about what to do with their group, that is when a yellow lantern calls in to Sinestro and tells him, hey, there is a green lantern here and that green lantern is freaking Hal Jordan. And so Sinestro freaks out because he knows how strong Hal Jordan is. And he tells his lanterns that they must not fight him alone. Go and get reinforcement to battle Hal Jordan. Now, of course, they don't listen at first and they try to fight against Hal Jordan on their own. Now, let me tell you, at first, it seems like they have a slim chance of winning. Then you have Hal Jordan just get rid of that idea and starts to beat down on the Yellow Lanterns. This makes them hightail out of there and do what Sinestro told them to do which was go back and get back up before you get beat down by the strongest Green Lantern. That is when you see them go to a nearby planet and right behind them is Hal Jordan, giving them chase so he can get some information out of them about where he can learn more about the Green Lanterns. Except when he arrives at the next planet the Yellow Lanterns has run to, that is when he gets down there and sees it was a trap and he is now surrounded by dozens of yellow lanterns getting ready to beat down on Hal Jordan. Now this is where we learn about what had happened to Guy Gardner because remember that Jon Stewart sent Guy Gardner off into the universe on a retcon mission to learn what has happened to the universe while they were gone and it has been hours since Guy left for his mission. And John is unable to get a hold of Guy and it makes him wonder what had happened to him. Well, we come to find out that Guy Gardner basically got into a run in with someone. And of course, he is trying to fight this person instead of being a smart person and getting the heck out of there before he could possibly, I don't know, die. 
Now we get back to Hal Jordan fighting against the dozen of Yellow Lanterns who had surrounded him earlier. Now this battle is very important to know about because these Yellow Lanterns are also holding innocent people of this planet as hostages. And with them doing that, the fear coming from these people is just fueling the Yellow Lanterns. And we see this in this book where they show their rings going to 115% of power to 200% of power. They're just getting stronger and stronger because the fear of the people is feeding their power. Now, Hal Jordan is able to master power level and fight back against them. But Hal Jordan is fighting a dozen yellow lanterns who have been supercharged thanks to the fear of the people they are terrorizing on this planet. And so with that fear just fueling the Yellow Lanterns, Hal Jordan is not able to keep up anymore and he was actually defeated by the Yellow Lanterns. And they called Sinestro to tell him that they were able to capture Hal Jordan. This leads us back over to Sinestro and we see a bunch of Yellow Lanterns return and Sinestro thinking they're about to give him Hal Jordan. Instead, this group actually brings him Guy Gardner. Now remember, we quickly saw that Guy Gardner was fighting against someone and he was in bad shape. Well, now we know why, because he was fighting against some Yellow Lanterns. Now, these Yellow Lanterns have captured him and brought him back over to Sinestro. Now, Sinestro is angry because he was hoping this group had Hal Jordan, not Guy Gardner. But then he realized that if Guy Gardner is here, then that means the return of the Green Lanterns as well. And so you have Sinestro tell his men to take Guy Gardner away so he can be tortured until he tells where the Green Lanterns are at. Then tell his Lanterns to find the other group who right now has Hal Jordan. Moments later, the other group who have captured Hal Jordan arrives back at the base of the Yellow Lanterns to only tell Sinestro that they don't have him. Sinestro's daughter, Soranik, has Hal Jordan. When the group got back to the base, she greeted them and told them that her father instructed her to take Hal Jordan somewhere else. And so with Sinestro hearing that, he is angry because this is now twice his army has failed him to bring the one person he wants. But now his own daughter is portraying him. And so now this leads to him wondering where in the world is Hal Jordan and Soranik at? That is when we see Soranik is working on saving Hal Jordan's life since he was badly injured by the Yellow Lanterns. But this is her basically trying to bring down her father and hopefully save the universe. She knows the only person who can do that is Hal Jordan. Back at the home base of the Green Lanterns, you have Jon Stewart get tired of waiting for Guy Gardner to come back home. And so you have Jon Stewart state that it is time for the Green Lanterns to go out there and take back the universe. And so you have all the remaining Green Lanterns get pumped up and head out to battle to save Guy Gardner in the universe as well. We then pick up a couple hours later now and we see that Guy Gardner is being tortured only so Sinestro will be able to gain the information he truthfully wants which is the location of the Green Lanterns. Except Guy Gardner is a soldier, man. Like this dude is not going to break that easily. And so they're gonna to have to do some high level torture to get the information out of them like they want so badly. This leads to us seeing that Hal Jordan is now all healed up now thanks to Soranik. This is where Hal Jordan is confused because the last time he saw her, she was a Green Lantern, but now he is seeing her being part of her father's court. But she tells him not all Yellow Lanterns are evil. There are some good ones in the court. Now you have Soranik tell Hal Jordan about what her father is trying to do. We learn that he has built some machine in the center of his base, which just pumps fear nonstop into him mainly, but as well the rest of the Yellow Lanterns. And so with that being said, you have Hal Jordan show Soranik that he has changed now 
and to being one with the will emotion. He also tells her that he is going after her father and he is going to end this. Plus, he tells her to get the few good yellow lanterns out there and make sure they leave because he is going to blow the place up completely. Picking back up with Jon Stewart and the Green Lanterns, they are right now heading out towards the Sinestro Corp, but they run into a fleet of random spaceships where at first the Green Lanterns are see them as enemies and they go into defense mode to protect themselves. After knocking out the ships, that is when one of the captains of the ships comes out and goes to Jon Stewart and they talk about how they are both going in the same direction which is to handle the Sinestro Corp. And so they agree to team up and go out there to hopefully stop the Sinestro Corp. Now this leads to Hal Jordan attacking the base of Sinestro. And let me just say that it is a show to see because you have Hal Jordan attacking and taking on a hundred of Yellow Lanterns. They are trying their best to actually defeat Hal Jordan. And while Sinestro chills at the core of his base. And so he tells Lysa, his girlfriend, to go down and tell the person who is torturing Guy Gardner that it is time to turn their fear machine on and just start pumping the fear of the universe into the rings of the Yellow Lanterns. Now with this battle happening, you have Lysa do what she was told to do and tell the servant to start pumping up the fear. They are going to need everything they can to stop Hal Jordan. Now when they mention Hal in their conversation, of course Guy Gardner overheard and he is now pumped up about this to hear him hearing that Hal Jordan is here and he knows that it's about to be over for Sinestro. Now getting back over to Hal Jordan, who is fighting against the Yellow Lanterns, he is literally beating every single one of them left and right. But you have Sinestro start to pump the energy of fear into the rings of the Yellow Lanterns. This is him hoping that it would help his lanterns against Hal Jordan, except it does not. You have Hal just wipe the floor with every single one of them left and right, and Sinestro just keeps pumping more and more fear energy into the Yellow Lantern rings. Their rings keep saying 150, 200, 500% of energy. It does not matter at all. Sinestro moves all the safeguards just to let his lanterns run crazy, and again, it does not matter at all. Hal Jordan just wipes the floor with every single member that tries to fight him. And then finally, you have Sinestro to say, stop. He tells his lanterns to stop, that he'll be the one who will finally stop Hal Jordan and of course begins the battle between the two sides. Now this is a battle that basically shows another chapter of hate between these two because Hal and Sinestro have been enemies for years but this is not just another battle. These two are at a new level of power because Hal has become one with the will emotion of the emotion spectrum and Sinestro is being pumped with fear energy from the war planet. And so this battle leads into an epic battle all over the planet and they are equally match when it comes to this battle. Now we have Sora Nick appear with what she calls the good yellow lanterns and they are working hard trying to save the innocent people who are trapped on this base of Sinestro which of course when she gets down there she also finds Guy Gardner as well and so when she sees Guy Gardner is down there she starts to wonder if the green lanterns are back as well like how but she does not have time to confirm that because Hal and Sinestro battle is so crazy that the base of Sinestro is falling apart. And so her and her fellow good yellow lanterns she has on her side, they have to grab the innocent people and get the heck out of there because Sinestro grabbed these innocent people to use as a way to pump up the fear machine that is fueling him right now. Now to wrap up this story, we see Sinestro and Hal still fighting against each other, but you have Hal see Sorodnik and her fellow good Yellow Lanterns leave the base of Sinestro with all the hostages and Guy Gardner as well. 
and you have him tell Swordnik that he can finally let loose and just let loose all the way. Because remember that Hal has become one with the will emotion of the emotion spectrum. And so you have Hal just let loose and that makes Sinestro also let loose. And this leads into them both just going at it with all of their strengths, except Hal Jordan is stronger. So Sinestro is unable to withstand the blast coming from Hal. And since Hal is letting out some, some powerful energy, he blows up the whole base of Sinestro. And this leaves us wondering if Hal and Sinestro survived the blast or not. And to close this story, we see the Green Lanterns arriving at the scene only to see a huge explosion happen and they are all confused on what the heck had happened over there and then they see a bunch of yellow lanterns appear and they start to freak out which of course made them think this is about to be a battle between the two sides except when they look up they see Guy Gardner just chilling inside one of Sora Nick's constructs and stating that everything is good now. And this is where we are going to end today's video. So guys, please leave me a like down below and also subscribe for more comic book stories like this in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I will see you on the next comic book video. Later, guys.